You know those super annoying gross spit sounds? The ones you can especially hear when you're editing dialogue with headphones on? Well, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna teach you three quick and easy ways that you can isolate those sounds, reduce them, and remove them. So let's hop in Adobe Audition and get to it. Now, my workspace is probably gonna look a little differently than yours. Don't worry though, I'll show you where to find everything that you need. So right now we have a waveform view, which allows you to see some of the stuff that's going on in your audio. Like I can tell, for example, here we have a click noise. I can see here we have a breath. And as you get more comfortable editing audio in Adobe Audition and using the spectral frequency view, you'll get more familiar with what specific sounds look like. But to get a deeper look as to exactly what's going on in our audio, let's turn on our spectral frequency view. To do so, click on this icon at the top of your screen that says show spectral frequency display. You can now tell that this is activated because the icon is in blue. And here we go. We'll drag this splitter up so that the spectral frequency view takes up the majority of this screen. And using this view, we'll be able to see specific frequencies within the dialogue itself. And now let's take a look at how to use Auto Heal, which is the first option to remove specific sounds. Auto Heal works really well for removing those visibly bigger click sounds. So I use it anytime someone smacks their tongue against the roof of their mouth. In the audio, I can see right here that there's a click noise. So first I'll make sure that my marquee tool is selected by clicking on the marquee selection tool icon at the top of my screen. And I'll drag over this area to select that click noise and play it back for you. And now that you've heard it, I'm gonna drag this marquee rectangle that's around that click noise in as close to that click as possible without actually touching it because I don't want to affect the other audio. Awesome. To zoom into this audio a little bit more, you can press the plus key on your keyboard a few times. Great. I'll go up to the favorites tab, click on it and click on auto heal. There you go, that click noise is gone. And as you can see, we still have some of that low level background noise. So when we play this back to listen through, it's not gonna sound like all of a sudden a chunk of audio has gone missing. Rather, it's gonna sound natural. Awesome, I'm gonna move over to the right in my audio more and look for another area of audio that has those gross spit mouth sounds. Press the plus key on my keyboard to zoom in. Still using our marquee tool, let's select just the part of that audio that we can visually see makes those annoying mouth sounds we wanna remove. And as you can see here, we can adjust the volume of our selected area of audio. This is the head up display, also known as HUD. And this comes in super handy. You'll see why in just a moment. If for some reason you don't see this, you can go up to view and click on show HUD. Perfect. Clicking on this adjust amplitude icon, I'm gonna drag over to the left and I'll reduce this audio to around minus 20 decibels. So let's listen to this. This is, this is amazing. That sounds way better. You can no longer hear those mouth noises. This is also a great option if you wanna reduce the volume of a breath in your audio. Depending on the type of edit I'm creating, I don't always completely remove the sound of a breath because especially in longer videos with dialogue, for the viewer, hearing the breath is natural. If I were to cut out all of the sounds of breath in a longer form video, the viewer may, without even realizing it, start to hold their breath too. So in some cases, you may wanna cut out the breath completely when you're editing audio. In some cases, you may wanna keep it, but reduce the volume of it so it's less distracting. So what we can do is again, use the marquee tool to select our breath, which is right here, and drop those decibels to around minus 24. Let's play that back. Great, so now the breath sound is still there, but it's less distracting. Okay, and the final way that I like to remove very specific noises in my audio is to use the lasso tool. So I'll go up to my toolbar and select the lasso tool. There we go, with it selected, I'll zoom into a part of my audio where I wanna remove a specific noise. And the lasso tool is really cool because you can make very specific shapes around your audio. I'll select this specific part of audio, right click on it, and I could either choose to silence the selected part of audio or I could auto heal just the selected part. So I'll try auto healing and that's done a great job. I'll press command Z on my keyboard to undo just to show you the other option, which would be right clicking again and selecting silence. And as you can see, when you choose silence, it completely removes that part of audio. In some cases, like this particular case, that works fine. 
But if you're selecting a larger part of your audio to silence, it might sound more dramatic than if you were to just auto heal it. So usually I'll choose auto heal first. Awesome. And there you go. Those are three quick and easy ways that you can isolate sounds in audition, reduce those sounds and remove them. Thanks so much for checking this video out. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stick around and check out our other video editing tutorials and cinematography work, then subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in future videos. Thank you.